Welcome back to the scrum. Cinco de Mayo. It is, isn't it? Mayo de Five O. Yep. Everyone we out here. Out. Y'all partying, dude? Going big Cinco de Mayo. See, so you are there with your sparkling water. I was going to say, dude, getting festive. You got some lime uh, and watermelon. Aha. With vodka. Aha. I, uh, Mixed the Sprite and vodka. Yeah. Vodka uh, with the Sprite. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Wednesday, hump day. <sighs> Nothing's really going on. All is quiet on the Western Front. All yeah. is quiet in the NHL world. Yeah, there's nothing going no on. No big storylines. No big storyline aside from uh arguably the biggest storyline of the year. In terms of like people's people's Geeky almost level getting, uh, lacrosse ball? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was I mean, even going back to his Pizza the Hut quote. <laughs> even bigger. Can't out Pizza the Hut. Dude. You just really can't out Pizza the Hut. <laughs> we missed that on the pod and shame on us for that. It, that's not stuff. getting talked about enough. Like uh, the gem of that quote. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it got Pizza Hut to reply to the tweet. You get a little impressions, you know what I'm saying? You get free Pizza Hut But, like, life. I hope they, and maybe it's just, like, pandemic shit. Like, they can't capitalize on this, like, the way they tried to on that stupid-ass ice cream stunt. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, this is yeah, infinitely yeah. better. Yeah. Do something with it. Yeah. And they probably are. God, they better be making t-shirts. Right? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, come on. You hope so. Partner with Pizza Hut here. <laughs> Put a Pizza Hut in PNC. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> it's a million dollar idea. Hut start? Do y'all know? It's an off-topic question. Like, but, well, <laughs> I assume that. Beijing, China. Beijing, China. Who ever would have guessed? Uh, yeah, um, Indonesia. Indonesia. Yeah. Is that, just keep throwing out. <laughs> UK. Yeah, UK. Yeah. Somewhere in Australia. It was uh, Pizza Hut started pre-revolutionary. Uh, they've been around yeah, since. Like, uh, like, yeah, they were paying taxes over yeah. there. <laughs> That's what Boston Tea Party, they were throwing pizzas. Wichita, Kansas. That sounds about really? right. That actually sounds that makes right. Sense, yeah. It was because you forget it was a buffet. <laughs> it was, wasn't it's a it? Buffet, bro. It, it totally it was a buffet. Was. Damn, I that was like about that. that was like aside from the uh, the pan style, which was like you know the big mm-hmm. commercial pan style pizza place. That was like what it was known for was the buffet. True. I completely forgot about like the buffet thing, dude. I remember I went there one time, Kansas, and like, dude, it's like a sophomore in high school. Mm. Like, we stopped there out by like the outlet malls or something. And I just remember being like, man, this is the last time I ever <laughs> come here, dude. All I the just... Pizza Hut stands are like, bro, <laughs> people, dude, people will die for their chain. I'm not even saying like the pizza's bad, but I just like being in there. Oh no, I dude. was just like, I'm okay, so well, bummed out. Just like put in perspective for anyone who would have any issue with what he's saying. Put in perspective. Imagine sitting inside a Domino's. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I remember like getting <laughs> it's the cup. Nuts. It's like that scratched, like cloudy plastic cup. And it's like way too thick of plastic for no reason. And you can see the stack of cups that they grabbed it from. Yeah, like, yeah. That dude, like shit still, shouldn't be visible. Like it's still hot from like the like the, the wash, dishwasher. The dishwasher they got. <laughs> still tastes like, like soap. They're like flicking water out of it, handing it to you. Straight half. Up. Of you the go pizza, get your own drink. Dude, you show up and like half the pizza's not filled up with like pizza. Like it's coming out a little bit. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like man. Oh, the buffet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's like dude, that brings me now, boys, 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 boys. Now where this is acceptable. Just you know, because like we're talking, we're talking low tier pizza, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. pizza consumption at that point. But where this is acceptable, CC's. I was CC's. CC's. Do they still exist? Man. Hopefully not. I, but, saying, I feel so. like I haven't but heard. It's, but it was always okay. Like if, especially if you were feeling depressed, mm-hmm. like if you really just needed to like, uh, just confirm that you were feeling shitty about yourself <laughs> and that you weren't happy with anything else in your life, you could go to CC's. You could spend six dollars and fifty cents, mm-hmm. and you could sit there for five hours, and eat all the pizza you wanted. Yep, and I've tried. <laughs> they, they will not kick you out. <laughs> they will let you sit there. They only have, and the funny thing about CC's is like they only have like ever f- like four or five kinds of pizza. Yeah, they're, they're, they're banking just, on you getting tired of it before you're filled up. You know what I'm saying? Like, facts. <laughs> but there's like it's always like that fucking. Like no sauce pizza. Yeah, which some is like whoever would eat that pepperoni cheese, some artisan ass vegetarian pizza. Yeah, breadsticks. Yeah, dessert pizza. Yeah, so the dessert pizza. <laughs> Sometimes that shit. The second they put it out, that shit's gone. Gone. You know what I'm saying pepperoni yeah. gone. Family fam, families are going up there getting like three pieces each for each of their kids. They got like ten kids. Dude, they're fucking. Remember Redino's Fridays. I was, I was literally about to say the like the only place where I would still go today is a pizza buffet is that mm-hmm, Redino's mm-hmm. across from Garner High mm-hmm. School. <coughs> you know that shit's not there, is it? It is. I actually think it might still sure. be there. I just remember that. I just remember the one the over owner, by Edwards Mill does well. 
Does it? Oh, it yeah. makes sense. Oh yeah. Especially during Kane's um, games. And all I remember that. the dude. I'm assuming he was the owner or at least like the manager of that one. Uh, <coughs> offered John a job. Like <laughs> my buddy John. Oh, yeah. He's like, man, I just, I like, like you're hard. I feel like you're a hard worker. Like you can, you know, you can come work here. And then John was like, how much are you going to pay? He's like, minimum wage. And I was like, absolutely not. And every time <laughs> we went in there, he would offer John a job. That's I mean, it was the same awesome. motherfucker. Remember, that's he would, funny. He would walk around. Oh yeah, I he remember. Had a, he had a mental list of who paid. Oh who yeah, paid for the buffet or that. Short, thing. short guy, mm-hmm. long gray hair with a beard and glasses. I'll yeah. never forget that mm-hmm. motherfucker. Yeah, time, yeah he, he ended up cutting it. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he ended yep. up cutting it real short. Yep. I never liked that dude. <laughs> I gotta he be was honest. a prick. He was a that's straight up yeah. prick. But good, you would have thought he was employed by the school the way the motherfucker acted. For real, dude. They probably. I don't know. Anyway. uh Chats that was pizza. 15 but, minutes on pizza. By the way, not only does CC's Pizza still exist, there's one 10 miles away. Y'all want to go? Like it's right after, dude? Like Cary. right at, let's it's go where? straight there. It's in Cary? That's Believe gonna be, it or oh, not. Oh, I don't know where that one is. <laughs> yeah. That's the one over there by uh, Off Route 1, kind of near Apex, low-key. Mm. Is it the last one? Kind of like how there's that one blockbuster that exists somewhere? I mean, this one's been around. It was put, <laughs> it was put like in a, if it's where I'm thinking it is, it's in like a past like 8, 10 years new shopping center. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, you know, know what I'm saying? Brand new ass shopping center. This is a pizza episode. Anyway. <laughs> it's a pizza <laughs> podcast. Uh, no, what the, the news that was going all over, fucking, the internet was going wild over this. The Tom Wilson scrum with the New York Rangers. Uh, what, the, the, the Rangers are attacking the net. Puck stops at the crease. Mm-hmm. Big pile up there. Wilson falls on top of Busnevich. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he may or may not got in some contact with the goalie. I didn't see any of that shit. I didn't go back and look for it either. Fish uh, yeah. hit the goalie because that, apparently that was what in, what people are saying intensed in Wilson there from the beginning or intensed mm-hmm. him from the beginning. He's on top of Busnevich. Wilson is gives him a jab in the back of the head. Mm-hmm. Now, for me, that was more of a you know you've, I've seen harder punches that were uh, cheap shots, if you mm-hmm. will. So that to me is not like much of anything personally. Watching it, looking at it, I didn't think much of that. Uh, it escalates. Panarin ends up getting on Wilson's back a little bit. Uh, people get in the scrum. Panarin loses his helmet. Mm-hmm. Wilson proceeds to just ragdoll Panarin up and down. Uh, it he, looked like he, he, he slammed his head on the ice. He hip tossed him. He, like, he pulled yeah. straight up. I mean, straight up like grappling technique. Hip tossed mm-hmm. him. But yeah, fucked him up. Yep. You know, out for the from what they said, I mean, he's not going to come back this season. He's not going to come, come back this season. Happened. Now context that's like what five games three games i guess yeah could be know. longer that is, know, that is not to underplay his injury in the playoffs that's they're not I've paid attention to like <laughs> i don't i have no idea the east i have no idea i think i think they are i think that's yeah i think they are because the and all them are yeah i think I they are know, anyway anyway uh not the not what we're talking about <laughs> yeah panarin he gets his ass kicked a little bit um wilson gets two and then ten uh, for the roughing, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then he gets and this is you know, and then everyone proceeds to shit their pants. And that's the that's the first thing that's like slow down in terms of like you know people getting emotional is like he hasn't even gotten punished, mm-hmm. and people are are just like freaking the fuck out. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. For me, it's like there's a lot of different ways to approach that incident. Like obviously, that stuff's unnecessary. Mm-hmm. Like first and foremost ragdolling a guy like that to that extent is a little unnecessary pushing and shoving face washing a couple little uh love taps to the to the cheek whatever right with Mm -hmm. gloves on whatever uh guy with no helmet and you're fucking throwing him around unnecessary Mm -hmm. we can get that out of the way Mm -hmm. after that let's all just relax he's not he didn't try to kill the guy i think uh the freak out got multiplied when the Capitals tweeted out that he I chose violence. I forgot about that. that. They tweet out that he chose <laughs> violence. Totally forgot thing, about that. Which, like... It's just a bad tweet. It's a bad tweet, but also, like... it Not good. It's not, But it's like, that's not what... Like, when people like, he chose violence. Like, it's never when someone, like, literally chose violence. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, 100%. But um, I think that... And then they delete it. Yeah. Which is, I mean... That's a given, though. Yeah, but they, well, they delete it, and it's like, now you just, like... The internet, the internet just got to win by like getting you to delete the tweet. Sure, sure. And now they're just gonna keep going. I just um, don't, I don't put much in that because see, like, there's a there's a big difference between like, say for example, a team like the Carolina Hurricanes that a uh, has an incredible social media yeah. team up and down. So like, 
us just as Canes fans too are probably a little bit uh not spoiled, but like we we don't have we we just don't have that. Yeah. And in all in all fairness, it's kind of a new thing, especially for hockey teams to like Oh the social media just oh, get yeah, their yeah, hands yeah. in on that. Oh, so yeah. like lower your you know, everyone should just curb their enthusiasm on like what these teams sh- like quality tweet should be anyway and it's like we should yeah. not expect bangers yeah from, nonetheless yeah. horrible tweet yeah it's a horrible tweet delete it fire that person for sure yeah but it's going back to like the hip toss thing i mean we've seen guys even with their helmets on uh that would that happened to uh patterson uh, no, no no i'm well even i'm talking even older than that like old hockey uh wasn't it LaRock that got dropped onto his in in an actual fight the one dude falls, has a hand handful of his jersey, ends up pulling him over, and just his helmet slides back a bit, and he cracked his uh like the front of his skull on the ice. Yeah, and it's just like that's where I mean, those hip tosses and stuff like that onto ice, like that shit's really dangerous, even with your helmet on. Like that hel- like the helmets in hockey really are not just in general really aren't doing very right. much. Right. So like that, so that happens. I think that's really dangerous. You got, I mean, and he got punished in game, obviously, like you just said. But then, like the Department of Player Safety comes out and just gives him the five thousand dollars, and I right. think that's where it becomes a thing where fans are like, "What? Like, when? Like, what? Like, what are you guys like gonna do about this?" You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to Wilson, it's like he obviously has a history, and I think at this point. He know he's been through it enough. Like he knows what he can get away with. You know what I'm saying? He's not dumb about the way he goes about playing his game. You right. Know what I'm saying. Yeah. He's aware of who he is, how he's viewed by everybody, including refs, including the other team, all that stuff. He's smart enough to know like when, like what what lines he can cross and all that stuff. And it's like should be yeah. And it's up to the Department of Player Safety to draw new lines basically. So they come out with just the five thousand dollars. And fans are kind of like, well, what the fuck? You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and that's fair. And yeah, all day long, it, the punishment should have been greater. Um, I think you know you got to look at that as a re- repeat offender. By the time he got his last fine, which mm-hmm. wasn't that long ago, yeah. he had already cleared whatever threshold that yeah, he, exempts yeah. you from repeat offender. I'm f- fine, right? Mm-hmm. If, this, if people have issues with that, change the rule. But that's if that's the rule, then cool, right? He yeah. got he got lucky there. Uh, I don't see how he gets away with that this time. Mm-hmm. Um. I just don't know like what the windows are at that point, but I feel like you should <clears throat> be able to give out more than just the max fine here. Yeah. Um, but like at the same time, the thing that the thing that fucks me up is it sucks that the player, the department of player safety is doing such a poor job because it just it gets exacerbated into looking worse than it actually is, and I mean that because I'm I'm basing that off people's general reaction to one thing one player did yeah and not see that same reaction get applied when another player does the same exact fucking thing yeah the next night yeah i guess like the difference there would be is just that people have like again you know with the repeat offender thing with the department of player safety like there's no people don't have a time limit where they stop considering you a goon like well tom wilson hasn't done anything in a couple seasons he's not really a goon anymore Every time he does something, it's they just pile it on top of everything he's ever done. Where I'm, I don't know if you're referring to Gossip Spare or Crosby. Probably Crosby. Take, take your pick. Well, just with, with Crosby uh, bouncing. Crosby uh, did a lot more of a similar thing. Yeah. But see, that's just it. That, that's where that's where it to me. Everyone's argument of like, oh, this is dangerous and this is dangerous and this is dangerous, kind of like goes out the window. And you need to just start calling it all too dangerous because who's anyone to say that? Wilson Ragdoll and Panarin or Crosby slamming uh connect his head down is any more or less dangerous than what Ghost did. There's literally yeah. zero way to measure which is more or less dangerous. Is Well, yes and no. There's nothing stopping God forbid. There's nothing stopping from uh who did he who did he cross check Ghost? I don't remember who it was. Poor fucker. Yeah. There's nothing stopping from that guy falling as fast as he was going and it being way worse than it was there's nothing stopping that from happening Thank well, yeah, you. i'm not saying it wasn't it was still, so so why dangerous. not treat that guy like he fucking tried to kill someone if crosby did something similar if wilson did something similar i just feel like i feel like the outcry doesn't always fit the the action well specifically in ghost's case he got a two-game suspension already for that too but um 
it's just that there's not the outcry because it's I think people are people are a like smart enough to see something really dumb, really dangerous happen. Like when Pesci slew footed, uh, I forget who he slew footed, but you, this season, right? Yeah. People see that. And it's like, I, I, I saw our, the hurricanes fans saying it like that was an incredibly dangerous play, but well, t- Pesci has like no track record. So people aren't ready to go like we like days on end saying like, when are we going to, when is the league going to step in and stop Brett Pesci? Which is where I think the Wilson argument is, is there like we have seen him like it's not just an isolated incident anymore. But that makes it's it sound like, like the argument is more about stopping one guy than it is about protecting players, and well, that's yeah. where I say bullshit. It's about protecting players, and so if it's a if it's about protecting players, then get everything out, get all well, of that then, shit out. I, well, I would I to would the hope extent their of, goal is, but when it's you're seeing one guy repeatedly sh- like show a pattern of dangerous behavior, dangerous play, endangering other players, uh, you. That, I mean, you have to, the fan seeing is you have to, like, come down on this guy harder to protect players. Sure. But they aren't, and he's just a martyr, and it's just it just generates content more than it does do anything for anyone's safety. Like, so, like, that's where it's, that's where it's at. I agree that he needs to be, he needs to have greater punishments put on him, for sure. He's not getting enough done by the player safety department at all. George Peros's job probably needs to be looked at. It, but it's also like I remember when he got hired. Like this dude, literally, I was seeing it on Twitter. Like he literally sold shirts when he played that said "Make hockey violent again." It's right? Like, why is this guy? Why is the notorious goon the guy? The who mentality like, was they. They even said they literally to paraphrase them. They were like, "Oh, well, as someone who did such bad things, he should know what is and isn't okay." That was literally like yeah. their fucking message to the fans as to why they hired him. Uh, yeah, I mean, in my opinion, that's not working out. Um. But yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm definitely being more of like a, a of a black or white sort of thing here, as far as like which side of the argument I'm on. Hockey's hockey. Yeah. You need to you need to police dangerous antics like what Crosby did, like what Wilson does mm-hmm. continuously. You got to yep. stop that shit in the game. But make it about stopping it in the game for all the players. There's I don't think there's enough rules that come with like, okay, if you do this that is this if you cross check a player and he falls down that equals this punishment no matter how many fucking times this has happened no matter who you are as the star of the team or not the star of the team then you're immediately talking about player safety you're you're you are enforcing player safety rather than being like oh well we got to go after this one guy this one guy only plays so many fucking teams if you're stopping everyone from cross checking everyone in the back or slamming everyone down by making it more black and white what those punishments are when you do x action that's well, that's more where i'm getting at but i think that's where it's hard to do uh, well that and i think that's where people have a problem with what's going on cuz with tom wilson that's how it's that's how it's being addressed like well he got into a scrum and things went too far we only do x for that and so it's like at some point you are not protecting anybody because Tom Wilson knows I can do X, Y, and Z. If it, you know, with the cross check, if it looks too bad, maybe I get a game or two, but probably I'm going to get that $5,000. That's nothing to him. He's making plenty of money. You know what right. I'm saying? But that's and just... then it's, and then it, like nothing solved. He's like, I can, I know how far I can take my game and I know that I can afford, I literally can't afford to take it there. And it's like then you're not you're not protecting anybody because you're he, he's just decide like when rich people decide that they can speed they're like I can pay my fucking you know however much the ticket is I guess That's not, I, I bought my fast car I'm gonna drive my fast car right fast. well then at some point you take that guy's driver's license right well, so yeah. so what I'm getting at is then at some point then you gotta take it gets to a, it gets to an argument where it's like all right well then cool you don't want people to get hurt take physicality out of the game and I'm not saying like that's what needs to happen or I'm okay with people getting hurt. It just becomes too... It's either got to be, like, super fucking serious, like, let's start enforcing it hardcore now, or just, like, everyone kind of, like, I don't know, take it one step at a time. Again, in terms of, like, the the reaction, like, the visceral reaction, like, people calling... Yeah. Like, yeah, Kane's fans weren't happy with what Pesci did, but no Kane's fan took to calling him a coward. They'll yeah. call Tom Wilson a coward. I feel like those... Yeah. I feel like those things don't really, like equal yeah like your again, disdain you for the player versus like what their intent is on the ice as a professional athlete like yeah but it's all people are just 
Wilson's done it so much. People, it's just that building. It's bias. It's like the tiny little cuts over and over. It's the same, like, you know, you remember living like we're with roommates and shit. You yeah. have like someone come over and you're getting fucking pissed about something your roommate did. And they're like, I mean, he just left like the dishes out and like, no, 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 you don't fucking understand. Like it's been this. It's been every day. Every day for years. Like and it's right. just that build up. So that's where I think the passion of it all comes from. Of course. Where they see Wilson do the same thing. Like when he hit Carlo, which seemed to me mostly incidental when he hit him in the head. Yeah. Like the yeah, most, yeah, most yeah, recent yeah. thing. Yeah. Like I don't think he was, I'm sure he was trying to hit him hard and all that. But we and obviously that. he was not intending on slamming the dude's head on the ice, but was intending to ragdoll him. Because, yeah. you know, that's a very conscious decision to fucking yeah. shake the motherfucker. So I think, and so like with that, you saw people get pissed off and that is where, you know, just his track record does not, he's not done himself any favors. Yeah. I don't, over I, the years. I mean, and it's, it's tough to say because I'm obviously a fucking Cavs fan. Yeah. But I try to approach situations like this with as little, as, as little bias as possible. And so the thing I have to start comparing is when these other incidences happen, I'm not even, I'm not even looking at the fucking department player safety. We're all on the same page that they're fucked. Yeah. I don't, I don't care or expect them to do anything. Yeah. That's not the point. The point is, is how are you as fans of the game, uh, promoting the the opinion of other players and like fucking just latching onto that mob mentality of bullshit when like maybe like you just need to stop like being a little bitch about the game and just like or just like if that's your thing like ride for that but like ride for it when ghost does it ride for when crosby does it and i can i'm just literally naming off two things that just happened yeah Lars eller was uh quite you know also biased teammate Tom Wilson he's gonna mm-hmm. defend his teammates it's literally his job to defend his teammate mm-hmm. uh he was quoted saying you know a lot of people probably are a little uh ha- don't see the whole picture don't understand like, he said it way better than I ever could knows the guy right yeah could explain it better than I ever could um but like just that you know there's a very very uh real bias against the guy yeah who is a at, you know I'll, I'll concede he's a dirty player like mm-hmm. he's a he's a dirty player especially like amongst all the other NHLers today, yeah. you compare him to guys like ten years, twenty uh, years ago. Yeah. Not at all. He's he's just a. I mean, tough a guy, guy very. I mean, people have been like arrested for actual assault. So. Right. <laughs> it's just I don't know. It's wild. It's wild. But, Some of y'all um, need to chill. That's all. And it only got more wild. Be mad at player um, safety. With speaking of tweets and stuff coming out, the New York Rangers uh, team Twitter <laughs> posts. I don't even remember. Like again, paraphrasing, basically on some like Yo. we are like disgusted or disappointed with what the department of player safety they decided called out to george do. peros by name they did they did didn't they and then they they like they called for his job and like mm-hmm. tom wilson's job mm-hmm. and all that stuff i don't know i don't think that tweet ever came down but then it comes out today that uh was it gm and jeff gordon uh, and uh and i can't remember the president's name jeff gordon was the gm and then uh motherfucking uh i forget motherfucker's name dude um I'm not gonna find it. I think it was like one of the last things you sent. It was. It was to the the tweet the tweeter the tweeter chat. Well, that's the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, man! It was like it was like literally one there, of the last there, few there, things. God it's where it. you said let's go. Yeah, we'll but go. that wasn't it. That just talked about that just talked about the joke. It just mentions Paris. It doesn't drop it because it mentions Dolan, James Dolan, who's the yeah. owner. That's the owner. It doesn't yeah. matter. He's gone. He doesn't have a job anymore. Um, Chris Drury's now the GM yeah. president. But uh, yeah, no. And and when I first read that, my and my like reading and like interpretation of it was that they were the ones who put it out. Who put That's it out? Thought, and the yeah. league was like, you can't just be saying that shit. Get man, In talk the, owner. Yeah, get, get this man. Yeah. yeah, all the owners call him fire your boy. What you yeah. know that type of shit. But apparently, what what's the deal is that the owner who that guy beefs with fucking Spike Lee. The guy's like a known hothead, rich dude type dude. Really, oh, like he, fucking. He the next. Yeah, he's just in the fucking uh, uh, in the politics and the social politics. He's a socialite. A New York, New York socialite. City, exactly. A lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. Great Gatsby ass motherfucker oh, type yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
probably just like a fucking scumbag. Like, oh, 100%. I don't know. 100%. Dude. But like, He's it's like, ironic because in times like this, like, everyone's on his side. But he obviously fucking hates Tom Wilson. So everyone's yeah, like, yeah. And this yeah. is also like hockey the, fans. I don't think they're like fully aware of like Dolan as an entity. Right. From like, the, and I'm just from a very distant, like, fan of the NBA and what, how he's like done with the Knicks. Right. It's just like, I, I was like, I don't know if you guys really know, like <laughs> really know whose side you're jumping on here. Facts. But anyway. Um, well, exactly. That's just, yeah, it's, what's the thing? And these are the same people who would like want every billionaire and rich person to like burn, you know, yeah. it's just, it's so ironic to me. I eat that shit for breakfast, but uh, it has, it, as it turns out, the owner was the one who wanted that message out. Probably why it's still up. Mm -hmm. And those two, which now it makes, and that makes more sense, right? Mm -hmm. They probably have a, a tighter executive community of people. Paris is probably among those same ranks, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, of people who fucking talk in that whole circle of fucking executives. Yeah. And uh, they're probably like, man, that's that's a little cold and uh, probably a little uncalled for, uh, not really typical, probably a little unprofessional. Depends on how you want to look at it, yeah. right? Um, I don't know. I mean, what do you think about like the post itself? The post itself, I mean, when I saw it, I was surprised just from like, uh, I mean, you ne just never see that in hockey. Right. But um, that's, that's kind of my point. Like, calm but, down. But it's also like, I don't know, man, I'm here for like any type of drama. I'm here for the drama. Because the NHL does such an awful job of marketing itself that just anything that can like. This is the best marketing the league's done all year. Like penetrate the social zeitgeist that has to do with hockey. Mm -hmm. I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. But um, with it happening and then you find out that like. You know, Dolan's the one who fires them, and then it comes out that they're saying, like, it had nothing to do with the post. The only, like... There's no way. They were building a great team. But going back to... Uh, I mean, their record this year, I think, is only... It's, like, just above 500 and stuff. Fire and going back, Well, going back to uh, Dolan as an owner, I could see him being crazy enough to like, hey, I'm not happy with what like what you guys are doing. Look at the record. Them like knowing like, hey, our jobs might be on the line. That statement comes out and they're going, we still got to work in this league. Like we didn't put that post out. Mm. They come out like on some low key to the rest of like their colleague. Like you're saying them and Peros. Yep. All like yep. they have to work and Dolan doesn't have to worry about those. Circles. Exactly. They come out. They're like, listen. This whole shit's crazy, but we, we didn't put, like, that didn't come from us. We're cool. We're we cool. didn't okay that. Like, we are we need a job. Like, like we're going to be coming to get a job yep. soon. Yep. And then that's just, and exactly. then it becomes yep. obviously a part of the reason Dolan's like, oh, like, so you got you guys are definitely not with me. Get out, like, yep. see, you, see you later. And for him, that's an easy clap. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not he's tripping at all. making plenty of money yeah like he's not people that's the thing about those just new york teams in general man those fans shit fucking, and this pandemic slowing down a little bit low-key a little bit if new york's finally start i think opening up like a little bit yeah he's like Cha -ching. yeah and the new york fans are so like blindly loyal to those teams you know oh what I'm god saying? that they don't know what's going on yeah they're, they're, they don't know they're gonna buy tickets to go dude, dude, look at the, the, fuck fuck on, look at the fucking islanders look at the fucking islanders they didn't even have a home bro yeah. <laughs> they didn't even have a fucking place to play dude and people were still willing to show up yep come on yeah uh, it was carolina fans would turn a, on that fucking team so fast <laughs> that they had nowhere to, to play dude. come on bro <laughs> we don't show up Facts. to the playoffs come on dude Facts, dude but yeah, I, the, I, went those, whole... I went to one of those fifty percent capacity games. I was like, "This shit look like regular season, this bitch." <laughs> it's fucked up. But uh, the whole thing has no one, just has crazy. No one made that joke yet. Probably. Yeah, yeah. probably. I feel like our, I feel like we just don't have. It's probably like Florida. They're making the jokes about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, we still get them though. <laughs> Canes fans definitely still, still get them. them definitely, yeah. Penguins are like, man, how do we have a higher capacity than the Florida Panthers and? We don't even let fans in the game right now. <laughs> Y'all, whole, your whole state's open. Fuck, the Penguins will have higher capacity at PNC, yeah. non-pandemic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All kinds of black and gold out there. Fucking, oh, yeah. you go to a, you'll go to a Canes game against the Stars, and there'll be fucking Steelers fans, like, wearing Steelers jerseys. <laughs> yeah, like, and you're like, what, what the here? fuck? <laughs> if you see a bunch of TB12 Patriots jerseys, and you're like, god damn. It's just like, what is going on? Oh, man. Um, the whole situation is just so It's wild. so fucking wild. And that's what I'm saying, like... Again, like in context of what happened, guy got fucking ragdolled. Yeah, he fucking knocked his noggin. Mm -hmm. That's fucked up. Guy needs a bit punished for that. But that's what happened, right? Mm -hmm. Look at Crosby. Crosby, him getting the scrum, fucking, he gives him a couple jabs, pushes his head on that. He had his helmet on, but he's fucking give it to him. Same kind of fuck shit. 
nothing. Like no no penalty, uh, no suspension, fine for Crosby. No outcry against Crosby, who does do a lot of low key marshy fucking sneaky shit. Not yeah. comparing him to Wilson on the dirty scale, but just that if we're talking about a history, motherfucker does some cheap shit like that. No yeah. one's upset. Nobody. No one got well, fired I, I, over it. I mean, no one got fired over it. It's just, it. that's, you know what I mean? But I, like, to the Crosby thing, I think there are, I mean, people do not like Crosby. Oh, people they, like Crosby. they hate him for different reasons. They hate him because they kind of look at him kind of like a ratty little. But more people who have no, but people also have, like, stake in against Crosby, right? Like, mm -hmm. there's teams who, there's Americans who fucking went to the Olympics and watch, them, watch us lose, right? Yeah. There's other countries who have beef for yeah. whatever teams that have lost to them fucking swedes and all the swedes that were on the red wings when they fucking lost them or beat them in 09 shit yeah. like that with uh i feel like with this like it's it, people who have nothing to do with that situation like are just gonna pile on tom wilson where i feel like with crosby like he's got less haters for that type of thing you know for that type of thing yeah. i don't know do you think it's more haters more? just by volume i guess it, depending on where you want to put like the bar of hate I think potentially just because I think he more people know the name just yeah. you know what I mean yeah I think within the realm of like if you want to narrow it down to like just people who are fans of hockey I don't know man motherfuckers hate Tom people they're people just louder hate Tom they're just Wilson. louder yeah huh I said I was just I was just agreeing people hate Tom Brady he said Tom Wilson. He said Tom Wilson. Said Tom I, thought, I thought. Oh, I thought you were comparing. <laughs> My bad. Wait, who the fuck is about Tom Brady? Yeah, I, was I, thought, like, I was like, I mean, yeah, people do hate Tom Brady. I agree. Yeah, right. I thought you were gonna get into an argument between like who has more haters, Brady or Wilson. I was like, come on, man. I, I thought know. that's what. Was <laughs> going that's on. what it was. Uh, I, I think people hate Crosby, Crosby, but it's just like a different kind of like. It's just kind of like man, I've, that like a jealousy hate. Yeah, it's just like that motherfucker again. Like he does I think like people the hate Wilson shit. for the same shit though. <laughs> but it's just He's a I god mean, of a man. <laughs> but people just hate him. It's just it's like seeing like your bully, like the your bully get like a like a class award or something for like being a great kid. Yeah, and you're like yo, this kid's a piece of shit to like everybody I know, and yeah. it's just nice when the teachers around. Like that type, not like that type of hate. You know what right. I'm saying? Right, and I guess like the way I would look at it in a more dramatic analogy uh but like closer to like what's actually happened is like he's like dude like i'm just like i'm just like this is all like a big war and i'm just like a soldier dude like like i'm literally just fucking paid to do, report for duty and i do it like yeah. i'm sorry guys like i'm yeah. just here getting paid to do what i'm supposed to do like yeah sorry every like i don't want anyone to get hurt i'm i'm sorry like he, you're not gonna catch him saying that because that would make him look like a bitch yeah. and then people would not be fucking scared of them like they are. Well, you know I what I mean. Still would. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, it's all fucking a mental it, game at that point. But yeah, but that's it's, just, it's the like. That's probably the thing though. Like that's probably who he. Like that's probably who the guy is. Do you think he's really somewhere just going like, yeah, fucking Panarin's out, and yeah, I'll fucking do it again. Like is that I like no man? Like is maybe, that what we think? Maybe. I think that's. I think that's I've kind of those, crazy. I have absolutely met those people in the world of sports, and I don't. I'm not as like. Assuming that they get weeded out, we know they don't get weeded out. Like just going, just on some. I don't even want to bring it up because it's like a different situation. But we know that there's definitely pieces of shit that make it to the NHL. Sure, you know what I'm saying. So it's like I'm not saying Wilson is, but I also, in the same breath, if I found out he was, I wouldn't be like mind blown about it. I mean, just I guess like, I wouldn't if it was fucking any NHL, right? But, that's what I'm saying. But like, I don't know. You just want to. I don't know. It's just, like as far as like the soldier reporting for duty and stuff. It's just kind of like. Like do whatever you're gonna do between the whistles, but when you're hitting like when you're hitting guy when he blindsided uh what's his name on the Golden Knights, uh this was I think during the Cup run, um I just remember it was a big thing you you would you would recognize sure the yeah, yeah, yeah 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 um just, or oh was it Riley Smith? Ice. I feel like it was like Riley Smith or Marcia So or like it was one of the better players. Yeah, no, I definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. were like the mo more talented players on the Golden Knights. I think I remember. Like, I feel like I can picture like the highlight. You would definitely recognize it if you saw it. But like that, it's just like stuff where it's going outside of what I'm sure. Like the Capitals aren't asking him to hip toss Panarin. No. you know what I'm saying. Like no, they're no, wanting no. to play hard. Well, that, that also game. goes back to the unintentional aspect of it all. You know what I mean? The yeah. the, the the heat of the moment type yeah. shit. Which, as that professional athlete, it's your job to curb that shit. You have yeah. to be the one to control your emotions on the ice. For sure, I don't know, man. I, I, it's just it's such a it's such a it's such a fluid thing, right? Like that's we're talking about heat of the heat of the moment type situations that I just feel like as long as as long as hitting 
of any kind is in the game, you'll have this. And until there's like football level, you're kicked out of the game if you fucking touch each other, or basketball even, mm -hmm. you're going to have it. So either make it like basketball or soccer, or don't, and then we can just keep having these conversations. Like, that's that's where I'm at. You have to pick one at some point. You can't just be like, something has to change. This guy's going to kill someone. And then literally nothing happened. And I, I don't even mean that, like, I'm, like we got to fucking uh, kick Tom Wilson out of the league. I mean, actually make rules that would affect every fucking player. Yeah. Well, it's just that, and that goes back to the, I, the rules seem to be in place. It's just that they're not being applied. Are they? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, dude. There's got to be. There's something about getting body slammed after the whistle i'm sure like i don't know the rule book front to back there's that i mean how is that not rough like roughing in general i don't know i'm i'm saying i'm saying it no one's fucking that's what i guess that's my point is for all these people who are like oh this is what needs to happen this is what happens they don't even like they're not like fucking quoting rules they're not like bringing ideas to the table they're just saying like this isn't good enough i'm saying it's fine i'm saying shit like this is fucked up but I'm saying you can't stop shit like this because well, if you do, then it's fucking soccer or basketball. Well, see, that, that's where I disagree. It's like just enforce the rules as you like. You see Crosby crack the guy's head off the ice, game suspension. You give you give Sidney Crosby a game suspension for that. Other so players, saying, other players in the league would go, oh, Sidney Crosby got a game suspension. I'm not going to do that. Right. And with Wilson, I'm with that. But yeah, so, that, but, but hypothetically, then, so what you're saying, and just for the sake of the example. Cracking someone's head on the ice in a, in a scrum is a game suspension. Is what you're saying? Well, I, I'm, I'm just I'm yeah, just asking, yeah, right? It's like if for the sake of the example, out, yeah. But that okay then. What I'm saying is I don't think that's a thing right now. There's nothing for there's nothing for cracking someone's head on the ice. If it was, yeah. you get a game for doing this. And I think with that, that's what I'm it, saying. I think with that, it would be because it's hard. I feel like it's hard to like write down in the rules every little minutia. You have to set precedent with past decisions, which is what I'm sure they're going off now, just like with any sort of like rule law, whatever. You got to cite it then. You, but that's what you, you have that Crosby incident happen, game suspension. The next time someone does something like that, people go Crosby, like this example here, this video, Crosby got a game suspension, almost identical to X player doing it to Y player, game suspension. Oh, he did it. You know, he picked the guy up and slammed, not like, not even like just any other player picked him up and slammed him. That's if Crosby yeah. got a game for this, this has got to be. And, and I don't want to hear shit about like people saying it's. Grand I wouldn't want to hear shit about people saying it's too difficult to get to those details. A, fuck that. There's already rules that are that stupid. And B, if you want it to be that safe, it's going to have to get to that. Le That's what I'm saying is you do not get to choose between, oh, everyone's got to be the most safe they can be and this game be as exciting as it is. And fucking we kind of can't control everything all the time like you cannot pick both like there has to be one or the other you can't control everything all the time or oh we can control this fucking shit and it's gonna be this fucking way well that's where i pick I a side you with you could almost circumvent the rule book and with having department of player safety we can't control everything all the time but when something happens we have to step in after the fact and establish order in some way or just give the punishment out because then you let the physicality happen you let the game unfold and then okay i need to be more careful in these post whistle scrums they're taking this shit seriously like i gotta be careful not to be throw like when Svetch was getting like triple punched in the face by the predators and stuff it's like if the league after the fact i'm not saying they should have been suspended for that but just like stuff like Why that not? um happens after the whistle the league steps in and it's like fines for that and you know guys at some point are like do I even five grand's not anything to Roman Yossi but he goes I'm not even trying to like deal with the paperwork and process like I'm just gonna not punch him in the face I'm just gonna shove him or whatever just typical post post whistle scrums it's just like them stepping in to eliminate that stuff I don't think would be that difficult to do and I don't think it would affect the game that much the way I don't think it would either and, and I think it's really important to not distinct my opinion from like Oh, I love the violence. Keep it violent. That's good for the game. It's not what I'm saying. My 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 whole thing is like I'm I'm here for entertainment. Yeah. And I love hockey. That's where my shit stops in terms of what I'm looking for. But if we're gonna make all these demands and requests, then motherfuckers need to come with some fucking shit written down. Like, it should, we all should be able to, at any point. It should be that easy or that available for anyone 
if a, if a rule exists for anyone to go, nah, he fucking, like you're saying, he did that, it looked like this, this is the same suspension that this person got when they did it, and since it was 20 days since the last time that this person got suspended for it, it is now this. If had it been 30 days, they wouldn't have got an extra day. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you have to have it that fucking tight. Yeah, but then, I don't know. I, th- I think you, it, there, it's very nuanced, like, each situation. Like... Goss Despair's history is very different from Wilson's. I don't think it would be fair to punish him the exact, like, the exact, as if he had Wilson's track you go, record. But you go back as far as you need. You go, you gotta, but you have to have it in some measurable window. It's all, at that point, if we're just gonna continue to leave it up to interpretation, based on that history, though, but it's still a motherfucker's interpretation based I mean, on the yeah. history, then it's all still bullshit. Then it's all fucking hocus pocus in the moment. It's Then that's in the moment. Then what's right and wrong there? You know what I'm saying? It's all it's all horseshit at that point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's when they go let them play. But fuck, they can't. You can't say that because then what? How they're playing's too fucked up apparently. Yeah. You know what I mean? My, my, it's wild. Yeah. I mean, just in the, my biggest thing is the stuff that happens outside the like outside the game where it's just like in, outside of whistles. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like dude, like that stuff's. I know there's very like heat of the moment, passionate stuff, but like dudes in the UFC don't even like. Crack exactly. Your head, you know what I'm saying? Like, and their exactly. job is literally. Exactly. That's a great point. Like, their job is literally fighting. That's like, a great point. I can't imagine well, anything well, more like well, emotionally. But, but hold on, there though. To 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 defend that though, those motherfuckers like they do that all day, and there's also like meditative levels to that like focus that they that those guys like try to achieve in terms of like patience and shit. I mean, yeah, they're mixed. They're mixed martial artists. Like, that's a little bit. Like, those guys are pro fighters. Like. I mean, it's still though, that's you like. I don't think you can take away the feeling of like fighting for your. I'm talking about just emo, emotional response to. I no, I see what you're saying. Know, like, yeah, I feel 100 percent what you're saying. It's so. It's just like I don't. I don't think it's a. It's stuff, a great point. Like I'm gonna try to contest hockey. it, but it's still a great point. Just specific to hockey, just like the extra. I'm all for the big hits. Like I'm all that stuff. I'm all about it. I mean, you're you're speaking with a guy who in beer league when motherfuckers like got scrappy, I would literally just be like skating around like. Oh yeah, no, dude! Like, what are we fucking doing like, no, no, in college you, hockey? Like, it's shitty club hockey. But when still, motherfuckers fought in that, I'd be like, bro, like, what are we f- really? Like, you know, we all paid money to be here. Exactly. Right? Like, like we, you literally like, are gonna paid. waste your shit. Like, no. Yeah, obviously, it's no comparison to the uh, to the level of pride and and what's on the line for these guys and the contracts they play for and the glory that is yeah. the Stanley Cup. Big difference there. But in terms of in terms of what opinion I'm trying to push and how I would react and how I think what's worth someone's time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Might saying not seem like not, they line you're up. You're not the, the scrum guy. Like you're not the fight guy. Like I'll get agitated. I'll fucking, you know what I'm saying? But like we can all take a second and be like, this shit is not worth it. Like, oh, like, any level head motherfucker can do that. Are we, are we two that. grown men about to fight over our fucking backyard right. hockey game? Essentially? Right. Like, no, it's the same exact it, Especially it, like that floor hockey shit, dude. People be doing that out there. Bro. Just like get like, they're getting mad and they're like, bro, like, dude, I fucking, like I'm not that fast, but dude, I play a hard game. Like, dude, we're playing floor hockey. Like, like there's like, no card to be played, <laughs> yeah, like, dude. Well, yeah, what are you like? What are you talking about? Oh dude? I'm my not, god, dude! I'm not about to get in a shoving match with you, fucking at 3 p.m. on a Sunday. That'd like, be the thing too. With beer hockey, you're like, you're like, why are you guys are fighting? Dude, we started this game at 10:30 at night. Like, <laughs> so like dude, what do you we're fucking all going mean? To bed in like an hour, dude. Like, it's the like, same dude, energy. You know, we have to drink beer after this, right? The same like, kids fighting at 7 7 a.m. in high school, and you're like, bro, like, we up. all just woke up, like. <laughs> Straight up, I you barely up drove here. Hey man, some of those sleep. some of those kids go to bed fighting for their life, dude. That's All right? fair. Got wake up I mean? doing it too. Waking that's up a, ready to go, dude. That's a fact. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> some of those kids, dude. Some of those but, kids weren't weren't going home after school. You know what I'm saying? But Steven and Tanner are fucking fighting. Oh, in, your, yeah. in your Sperry's. Let's all that's take a deep different. breath. Yeah. Dude. Like. <laughs> well, those those kids. I mean, I didn't see many kids like that fight that early. They were fucking because they're too fucked up. They let it pent up and they go crazy. <laughs> They Ironically, during, their fucking during gym wheels. class. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's when they fucking snap. Fight in the locker rooms. Uh, yeah. And then go uh, to Verdino's Pizza afterwards. Yeah, Everyone that's where they fight across the street. <laughs> fight across the street. Um, Craziness. It's just it's a it's just so wild and and like people are putting the takes like a fucking one player's scrum to just you know sum it up to that got a whole couple executives fired from a whole another team. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. holy shit, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. It's just like, it's, what it's, is happening? If they were, it's crazy that their jobs are potentially on the line before this 
too. Like, <laughs> like, like, what have they done? They had one of the greatest rebuilds yeah. in the past few years. Got a little lucky, but every rebuild gets a little lucky. You know, what I'm two saying? first for first overall picks. Well, that in the and a guy like Adam Fox saying, "I'm only going to play in New York," and now that, being, that helps. This year, at least, has been one of the best defensemen in the league. Yeah. Panarin being like, "I want to go to New York." New York doesn't even know how good they had it. No. You know, no, they turned that sh- dude. Uh, they put out a letter a couple seasons ago, like, "Hey, we're gonna suck for a while, but that we're was, rebuilding." That was and a then, little like, while a ago. Year later, they were like, "We're kind of okay now. Like, we're doing okay." Oh, well, that, that letter <laughs> came out a minute ago. It did, but I'm saying, like, relative to like when the letter came out to when people were like, "New York's actually the, pretty good." The again, promise was not is being fulfilled. Yeah, it was yeah. it went over way quicker than I was like true. even anticipating. That's true. Craziness. But we also thought Lundqvist would still be on the team. That's true. You know? Yeah. Which is also crazy. You know? Capital. He's a capital. Speaking of, to end it, because we've been going on for a minute, mm-hmm. the capital is just in our dire straits anyway, just yeah. aside from all this. See, people don't even know, all right? You want Wilson out, out of the lineup and stuff. You want him suspended. They, they need this guy. the other day. <laughs> Fucking, the whole yeah, team's hurt. They had nine forwards. They legit had three long, like, not that they shortened the bench. They legit only had three lines out there, like dressed, it's, ready to play. It's pretty depressing. It's even more depressing that they made Ovi play hurt. <laughs> they were like, they did. They brought him back for a game. We literally, like, we need you in the lineup. Yeah, they <laughs> they made him play hurt, um, which like that's a whole another discussion. Yeah, like Ovi being absolutely jabated off this goal record, dude. He's just getting <laughs> fucking hosed on this goal record, dude. It's driving me insane. Um, like I can stop watching hockey once this happens. I feel like that's what I'm waiting for, and I can just be done <laughs> the, with this sport the for like bit three of years. Investment you yeah, had. and I'll come back to it in like ten years or something when fucking it's like soccer. <laughs> <laughs> be a new sport. Um, uh, Kuznetsov might get moved on from. He was he was late, I think, to a, a skate or a practice, and he got benched. Him and Samsonov. Mm-hmm. Samsonov got uh got benched, and the the kind of the rumor mill around that is you know he might be a bad social influence for the young man the goaltender um you know just fucking guy fucking guy can't get out of trouble come do blow (laughs) basically let's go to vegas like that actually sounds like a lot more fun than talking about practice (laughs) is that a blow pracky exactly (laughs) they blew it um and so now the articles are coming out talking about the team possibly wanting to move on from them, which is just is just crazy yeah i don't think it'll happen i don't think it will i think it's something they can work out but this is all more recent, at least the team to him relationship is more recent with Laviolette's uh, mm. emergence. Verona mm. was basically coached oh, yeah. out of the locker room. Um, so you know there might be there might be something there, and, and we all know Laviolette's a, a known hard ass coach yep. across the league. So yep. it's uh you know it's an interesting thing, and, and Laviolette was even quoted. He literally said like we're trying to work on it in the room type shit. So like there's definitely something going on there. Interesting. Um, it's wild. So like. You know, that's why we all just need to back up off the caps a little bit, all right? They're in a fucking, they're in a bit of a... It's in a tough spot. They're having some personal issues, okay? They're trying to work it give out. Some space. It's complicated. Just give them some space. Fuck. It is, it is crazy. Just like, I mean, you sent that tweet the other day that was just like everybody that wasn't playing. Yeah, dude. dude. For it's like, because I really like hadn't even really like heard about it. Because yeah. I guess they're still playing well. Aren't they still fighting for first in the East or whatever? Like still very much They don't the slow down. So like... I was like, I saw that. I was like, God damn, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't know. They yeah, got yeah, a little bit of depth. I mean, the, the roster's always been so deep. And Oshi mm-hmm. just came back, who was hurt. Yeah. Rest yeah, in peace. Say rest in peace. Oshi's, Oshi's pops, man. Yeah, that's really fucking. Yeah, that story got passed around the league. Apparently, obviously, big uh, inspiration. Especially, to him. yeah, knowing how close like they were. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. awesome. We got to see, uh, see him win a cup and shit. It's though, huge. That's, that's Very sick. huge. Um, Does Oshi have a gold in the Olympics? Mm-mm. I didn't think so. Mm-mm. Damn. That's happening again. But he did, like, you know, get the... the uh, That shootout goal. Yeah, well, and, like, uh, what are they... Uh, like, six times. TJ Soshi, <laughs> like, he had, like, a nickname from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, That's worth something, right? Oh, 100%. It's worth a gold medal. Yeah, not, nah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> not really. Uh, all right. Did we do it? Are you, do you need to go crack do. another sparkling water? Dude, I got to go. You know what I'm saying? No sweeteners, no sodium, dude. Whatever, dude. Whatever, pussy. Aha. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Aha. Oh, man. It's the, Aha. It's called who Aha. makes that? Jadakiss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Aha by the locks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Jake. What's up, dog? Where can they get us if they want to talk... Uh, NHL player safety and sparkling water. <laughs> if you would like to give us a detailed breakdown on how you would change the rules, hit us up. 
Talking Sauce Pod, no underscore respect. The underscore. We got, what is this? This is the Scrum every this Wednesday. This is the Scrum. Podcast. Like a podcast. Every Monday is probably longer than our last podcast. Yes. <laughs> longer than our last, like, three podcasts. Like, this is subscribe, scrum. hit the bell. It's a Scrum and a half. You, you can get me at Jacob, J A Y underscore C O B B B, Josh. You give me a T C A B Z Z. Dylan. I already. U T bags, you mom, 69420, lowercase x, capital X. That's U T bags, you mom, 69420.